Let's move on to Bruce's law. Bruce's law is different as the relationship for light waves. Starting from the maximum polarization of a ray of light may be achieved by letting the ray fall on a surface of a transparent medium. In such a way that the reflected ray and refracted ray makes an angle of 90 degree. The law is named after a Scottish physicist, Sir David Brewster, who was proposed, who first proposed it in 1811. Sir David Brewster conducted a series of experiments with the different reflectors and found a simple relationship between the angle of polarization and the refractive index of the medium. It has been observed that the reflected and refracted ray rays are making an angle of 90 degree. When the light is incident at polarizing angle, So, as per Bruce's law, IP plus 90 degree, so IP plus 90 degree plus R is equal to 180 degree. So, R equal to 90 degree minus IP. From Snell's law, sin IP divided by sin R is equal to nu, which is nothing but your refractive index of the medium. Substituting for R, you will be getting sin IP divided by sin 90 minus IP is equal to nu. So, it's nothing but sin IP divided by cos IP is equal to mu. So, sin divided by cos is tan. Tan IP is equal to mu. The tangent of the polarizing angle is numerically equal to the refractive index of the medium.